Hey, 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 yeah, the whole world. I'm not sure if the exercise I'm about to get my hands dirty with is going to be one of those that require me to wear my thinking cap. Let's hope it's not. Because if it is, it might take too much of both of our time, you guys. Okay, so this wait 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 we're still doing 6.1 right we, right we gotta write a program that asks the user to enter a string the program should then print the following okay the seventh character of the string if the string is long enough and the message otherwise let's take care of that in the meantime of course the very first thing we need will be to have a string is to have a string we're gonna be working with okay so that's gonna be as simple as going if my if the length of user input is greater than we calls to seven wait 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 the seventh character okay so the number of characters has to be greater than or equals to seven otherwise we are told if that is not the case we are told to display a message i'll just go not enough number of characters error not enough number of characters number of character all oh, no number of characters okay now suppose we could what do you how we how are we gonna go about doing this it's gonna be as simple as going if you did check out my previous video you guys you don't have to watch this you probably know what's what is needed of you here so i'll simply go the seventh character is and then I simply go user input of course I'll need to pass I need to pass six over there because in this is a zero based right so we're gonna have to pass six now let's see really what's going on i forgot the comma there in fact i put it in the wrong place in the case of my life programming school the the seventh character will be e the one after f remember you guys the white spaces are considered as well so three four five six seven okay now let me try something else i probably shouldn't because most of you know this stuff okay so displaying l l is the that l over there is the seventh character now that i've taken care of that let's see what it what else is required of me the string with its first and last characters removed so we need to display that okay in the meantime i need to remove that okay 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 you know what These are two different problems, okay? So I think I'm gonna need to do a multi line comment there. And then right there, I make sure that. The string has to have at least two characters in order for me 
to this do remove the first and the last right i was told to remove those two and then display the remaining string okay so i'll simply invoke well what i'll simply i can simply do that there's more than one way of doing this you guys and one way will be to display my character remember we can specify a and b over here and both are optional so the minimum index i would like to have is one the maximum one will be the length of a string remember if i simply do that if i simply do that then this line will get read the really let me properly write this the new string is whatever we're getting from there okay you see you guys are uh, that right there won't be included okay so meaning in the case of the word one delay it's like we'll be displaying one delay right that right there will get rid of only the first characters character if i want to get rid of the last character as well i'm gonna have to minus one over there that way i'll get something like one deal without the e at the end so now let's hit the run button and see what we get of course if i enter something like a single character we'll be told will display a message okay so now go lua dile see that will get rid of the first character and the last character okay as i mentioned to you guys this is one way of doing it another one will be mm. Can I think of another one? Hmm, not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. If I should give out another solution on this. You know what, you guys, let me wrap this video up. Reason being, I don't want to take too much time. Which is precisely what I did on the previous video, which was 6.1p. So that's going to be it for now you guys there's a lot for me to show you guys in the subsequent videos cheers i'm gone now the only thing left for me to do is to print the mess the string in all caps and the string with every letter replaced by a space a string in all caps okay I took care of those so them um, the string in all caps okay so the very first thing I would want to do is to have a new string then I'll initialize it to just an empty string I'll then go for car character in user input so for each character in user input i want to check if it is uh, an alphanumeric character okay so I'll just go character is this a letter 
that is my question basically is alpha there is a function called is alpha okay that all characters have so this will either return true or false if it returns true i'll uh, then concatenate that to my new string okay let me get back okay now the string with all cabs string then go I'll concatenate new string with my string wait wait which part am the string with its first and that remote okay the string in all caps and oh damn you see even though I read that for you guys I was giving you a solution for that okay you see if we have a ladder I'll remove that ladder okay uh, if it's not a ladder I'll take whatever that is okay okay now let's see of course the only thing left out for me to do is to print out my new string um, new string okay this whole thing you guys will only do what it will only remove all the characters okay Loi one, two, three, D, Le, four, five, six, Luan, D, Le, six, seven. As we see, as we see, you guys, we've got our output containing containing none of the characters in the given string okay now what else do i want to do i wanna con now i wanna convert all these characters to caps in order to convert characters to caps it's gonna be as simple as going print user input dot two there's a function called the two upper it's not two upper it's just upper okay which is responsible for displaying a character to uppercase and it's probably a good idea for me to put it where down there so that i'm gonna comment everything above it now let's see if i give it my life https this is just this is my website you guys and make sure you don't forget to put the s over there because if you do it's gonna take you elsewhere my life programming school.com ok 
okay as you can see my domain name now is written in caps okay so that's gonna be it for this tutorial you guys cheers i'm gone